the perfect meal would be something a little bit heavy, um, a little bit fabulous, full of flavor. What are we making for the party? So listen, it, it's, a, it's a lot going on. Yes. Right, and there's a lot of work to do. So what you really want to do is plan it out and prepare. Yeah. Right, but stick with quality ingredients, kind of get your mise en place done, and if you have to mail it in, mail it in on the, on the dessert. Got it. Okay, because okay, like okay I'm not a sweet that. person, so what buy we, the dessert maybe buy and then, the dessert and then and cook the meal. It up and they, hey Tracy, that's exactly what we did. Check that's this beautiful. out. So let's start with the appetizer. We've got a beet carpaccio. You can boil the nice. beets up ahead of time, and then slice them, have it plated. Do a little parmesan, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of vinegar, pickled onions. Take care, brush your hair. Everyone's happy. Vegetarians Good. are like, this is the best thing that ever happened. Yes. Then, like I said, mail it in for the dessert. I went and bought some <laughs> cupcakes, but you know it's the whole murder mystery. So you got to get people <laughs> right. thinking, like, hey, what's this? That's a that's a cheese spreader that's in the cupcake. Maybe that was the murder weapon. Who dun, knows? dun, dun, dun. Right? And then wait a minute, maybe we got Joe Pesci from Casino and he's going to use a pen. <laughs> right? Or maybe it's, you know, Captain uh, Dijon here and he's got a meat thermometer. thermometer. And we want to see if somebody's done the corkscrew. You get the idea, but have some fun with it and get people thinking a little bit. We get it. Now, if they can't think and yes. you have to drop in more clues, how do you hide a clue into some dinner? This is this is always the part where I'm like, even when people hide the engagement ring and the cake. I've done that too often. Oh my not my gosh. own engagements, not my own. But like, we've seen it. Things at the go wrong. It goes wrong. It it's does dirty. Go wrong, right? People choke on it. It gets mixed up. Goes to the wrong table. How does that happen? But guys, you get a lawsuit. That's not That's good. What I thought. It's not good. Anyway, we're doing that now. You're we're doing that hide, now. You're going to hide the clue. So what you do is you take the perfectly beef tenderloin, the center cut, right? And you just take a knife, you kind of build a little pocket in there. Yeah. Right? And then what I did is I got these stainless steel beads, right? Oh, Lord. Right? And I got a little message in there, I tied it up like a little bracelet. And what you're going to do <laughs> is you're just going to be like, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, like, God. there it goes. It's in there. Okay. Right? Clean, clean it before you put in the meat. No, it's clean. It's okay. food safe. It's fine. It's food safe twine. Everything's fantastic. Heavy salt. Yes. I mean heavy salt. And then the same kind of thing, the pepper, right? Yeah. And it's a beef tenderloin, which is, you know, pretty lean cut of meat, actually. Lean cut of meat, except for the things inside, yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> and then what you want to do is it's serve a beef tenderloin, because when you're doing these things, you want to make sure you have a quality ingredient. And the beef tenderloin is yeah. never going to let you down. There'll be no mystery in its tenderness. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh. A little bit I'll of oil. One, chef. Sear it off, right? Yeah. We're going to go sear, sear pretty heavy, and we're good to go. So then, what are we gonna serve? We gotta keep things simple. We gotta think about hand motions on the plate. So give right. me that, give a stir to that. This is not mashed potatoes, although it might look like it. It's palm puree. Palm puree. Palm puree, is it? Tracy, yes it what is. What does that mean, mashed potato? It is, it's through a ricer, so it's <laughs> oh, really, okay. really fine. And then All what right. we've done is we've gone like a little bit. So here's how it kind of went down. We did some butter. Yeah. Right? And then we put some salt in. Yep. And then we did some more butter. Okay. And then we put some pepper in. Yes. And then you know what we did? Put some butter in? We put some butter in. Okay. Right? And then we put a little bit of milk in. Yes. And then guess what? You know what? Maybe it needs some butter. It needs some more butter. Yes. Right? And then you just keep hitting this thing with butter oh my until gosh. it just gets like almost loose, almost like a puree, and just keep stirring that. This oh, is going to be amazing. And while you have the butter out, yeah. drop it in with the beef too. That's fine. Put some fine. butter in there. Put some butter in. That's there. what it needs. This smells amazing. Doesn't that smell great? Yeah. So a little bit more salt in there. And it's so it's layered. So it's like you know you're 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 putting in the salt and the milk and the butter and it's going to make it super creamy. And here's the thing at the at a murder mystery when you're doing like just a few hand motions on the plate, yeah. you really need that one thing that's just going to crush people that they go, what just happened? What is that? Right. If you put enough butter in that potato, they will do that. This is going to be it. So we got a we got a nice crust on the beef. We're going to turn that around. Yeah. I'm just going to give this a major. Ready to this? You do have to work it a little bit just before it goes out. Okay. So you ready with this? Wow, oh. you're turning into a, like a stand mixer. I'm getting there. Look Look at that. is out of business. A little bit more milk. Like that. Oh my stars. And you can smell the deliciousness. So everyone's sitting at the table and they're like, what's up? What's going on with him in there? The whole Check point of this meal out. as well, if you're super organized, is so that you want to be part of the game. Yes, you do. A little bit, which is why you're doing the clue inside the meat. But also yep. you want to be able to participate in your guests. So if you have most of the stuff done ahead of time, you can be part of the party. Correct. Which is... Good, because you want to be a part of this go. party. Doing okay, this. so we got the potatoes. We yeah. have a little bit of gravy going on. Look, yeah. you put green stuff on we got there some garlic with the butter. Spinach. Why did people forget about garlic studded spinach? It's a simple thing to do in life. Oh, is you that what you put it did on spinach? there, and there you go. So Lovely. you got the palm puree, you got the beef tenderloin, but some lucky person's gonna be like, wait a minute, there's something here in my beef. <gasps> you ready? What? what? Could it be? Oh. Wait a minute.
Do you want to read that for me?